All right, guys, welcome back to JVSR Plays It. And please, before we get started today, leave a little like down below on that like button, the little thumbs up. You know which one I'm talking about. And be sure to answer the question of the day. Now, before we progress, we're just going to take on even more trainers. I know it's been... We're actually going to make some sort of story progress today, but it's been basically the trainer battles for the last two episodes. So today, we're actually going to see Team Aqua. But let's go over our team real quick in case you forgot. We have Pablo Artiflosion. Oh, you got the amulet coin. I knew someone had the amulet coin. With tackle, quick attack, cut, ember. We have our newest member, Pooh Bear, the Teddy Ursa, with strength, leer, lick, and rock smash. I really want to use an Ursa Ring. I was supposed to look up his stuff in between episodes. I didn't do that. I'll look that up right now while I go to our next member, which is Trouble, our Tyranitar. With Bite, Rock Smash, Rock Slide, and Screech, we have our starter, Zelfred the Binet, with Knock Off, Secret Power, Nightshade, and Thief. We have Quentin, our Graveler, with Tackle, Defense, Curl, Magnitude, and Rock Throw. And we have Atro, the Surviper, who is really coming on strong, really starting to hold a special place in my heart, with Glare, Strength, Bite, and Poison Tail. Really quick. I'm going to be lazy. Teddy Ursa, you are 216. So what's going to happen today is we have to go and get down to what whatever mountain that is. I forgot the name. Um, and we have to thwart Team Aqua. I stopped off at the Pokemon Center and I bought 25 Super Repels. Now, I believe this guy in here is going to give me Dig? Oh, I don't have a fossil. For once in a Nuzlocke, I do not have a fossil. Oh, you give me dig. I don't need dig right now. But at least I have it for the future. You're gonna give me roar. That's useless. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take on some more trainers. We're gonna get another encounter. We're gonna... Couple more encounters. We're gonna pretty much avoid any place we can only fish. I don't remember if this and the route where Lynette are, if these are the same route. We'll find out in a second, I guess. Yeah, they're the same route. Okay. I'll go take on the fisherman in a second. Oh, hi, why not? I don't want to fight you right now. Please don't mirror, move, mirror coat. Okay, we got the burn. Don't mirror coat. Don't mirror coat. Okay. We can't switch out. We can kill you, though, so it's okay. Weaving Bell, now we're staying in. We deserve an easy kill. I mean, that why not wasn't exactly bad. Okay. We'll take you on. So yeah, this is all one giant route. What do you have? You have four? You have a Ralts? I think you're... No, you don't have... I just assume every fisherman with more than two Pokemon is supposed to have all the Magikarp. Alright, we're gonna go into... Trouble for the Slowpoke? Doesn't really matter either way. I mean, yeah, the water... Gun's gonna be super effective, but it's not gonna kill. I can probably take like four of those easily. A bell sprout. We're actually going to Pooh Bear. It's only a two level difference. And I got stab strength. Yeah, that's. Yeah, we're gonna let Pooh Bear. We're just gonna show off. Teddy Ernest is really strong. So I would really. I mean, unless it's something real. I'm not just gonna sack Pooh Bear for no reason. That said, I will definitely leave him in against a coughing in case it uses self-destruct. Nope. Poison. Okay. There's a kill. Good job, Pooh Bear. Alright, we're gonna go up. We're, we're gonna live the poison. Okay. Now we'll go back down there. I just... Money's not an issue because, I mean, how often do you get an amulet coin? Literally in the first route of the game. Okay, I could throw up a couple super repels and make it through here without an encounter. But here's the thing. And here's what make this makes uh, this Nuzlocke interesting. It's because in a normal Nuzlocke, if you go out and catch your encounter, you are tempted to throw it onto your team. But you can throw it in the box and be like, well, maybe I'll save it as a backup. And if someone dies, it'll be the first man up. Not in this Nuzlocke. If, something, if you want to catch something then you have to kill something. Like, you if you're like, maybe I want this on my team, you have to decide right then and there before you throw... You can't even throw a Pokeball before you decide, and then you have to kill something. You don't get that guy back. 
So that is the challenge of this Nuzlocke, and that's what makes every encounter even more interesting than normal. Because, I knocked over my phone, because you never know if this is going to be someone who you're going to kill a party member for. Pooh Bear, what are you doing up in the front? We're not staying in Phenomenite, we're going to go out in Atra. But Pooh Bear, I'm going to let you rock smash the Almanite, because he's a threat. Do some good damage. Alright. Defense drop. Perfect. And he just boosted his defense anyways. Poison tail that thing. Rock smash the Ammonite. Experience for Pablo. Experience for Pooh Bear. Experience for everyone. Good. Good. Ignore the little teddy bear. Pooh Bear up to 16. See, I like Pooh Bear. That's why it's it's a tough decision here. It's, do I go in this grass? And the answer is yes, of course I do. Because this encounter is going to be useless later. Who are you? A Beldum. Shit just got interesting. We're going to go out into Atra. It could kill itself. Now we're gonna go out... You know what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out in the Pooh Bear. Because as awesome... As awesome as an Earth Ring would be... A Beldum would be better. And I look at the rest of the team, and I really like Atra. Trouble, you're safe. Zelfred's safe. Pablo's safe. So it comes down between Pooh Bear and Quentin. But Quentin has... Oh, wait, actually. Hmm. Quentin can't get killed by this Beldum. That's what it comes down to. I mean, because Quentin... Now that we have the dig TM, Quentin's actually expendable. We went from all these ground types, and I'm trying to get rid of that. I would rather just have trouble and not actually have someone with a stab, earthquake, or dig, or anything like that. I just need it as a coverage move. But in the time it would take... For this Beldum... Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna... We're gonna lick. This is the risky one here. Okay. Look, Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear. I need you to listen to me very, very carefully. You're awesome. I've only had you for a short time, but you're really awesome. If I ever ever catch a Teddy Ursa or an Ursa Ring in any future Nuzlocke, which does not require me being limited to the amount of Pokemon I have, not only will I catch you and name you Pooh Bear, but you will go into my party regardless of anything else. I will make it work. That is my promise right now. You will be avenged. But I can't pass up a Beldum. I'm sorry, Pooh Bear. And now we're going to go out into Zelfred. Because he can't kill himself now. Here's the next part of the risk. We're going to start with Pokeballs and we're going to work our way up. Oh! Well, that took all the drama out of it. I wasn't sure we were going to catch this thing. We got Beldum. Yay! I've never... I've never really used a Metagross before. So I don't really have a name lined up for this thing. So, uh... 
Huh. Let's see. Uh, we are going to name you... Um... Oh. I hit the wrong button. Uh... Clam... I don't like that name at all. Uh, we're gonna name you... Hmm. Okay, that... So, I went through, and I hopefully I remember to cut all that. I'll definitely remember to cut that out. Um... But I went through and looked up Metagross real quick, because I couldn't think of a name. I was sitting here stalling and stalling and stalling, so I'm like, let me see the final evolution, hoping that we get there someday. What does he look like? And all I saw, he was blue... And he has an X across his face, so all I could think was Mega Man X. So the Blue Bomber. That's what we're going with. Also, fun fact, Beldum will evolve in five levels. So that's exciting. What's not exciting is now... I have to say goodbye to one of my friends. I'm going to talk to you, though. You're going to give me a Lotad doll. So, that's cool. Maybe I will do a secret base. Is it just all Beldums around here? Could be. Alright, we're gonna go... Teddy Ursa. This is gonna be... I'm gonna feel really bad. Teddy Ursa. You got a supporting gift. What did you get us? Teddy Ursa understands. That, I, I almost... I, I legitimately... I, now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I like get extremely emotional about my Pokemon in this game. I'm not, but... That, that, that hit me real just not only is he not mad does he understand why he was sacrificed he he gets it he knows that i will keep my promise and one day there will be a reincarnation of the pooh bear i you know what i will go train one i will go train a guts endeavor ursa ring when i go to the laundromat tomorrow that's what i will train and i'll name it pooh bear in your honor but he gave me an ultra ball just in case I ever get myself in that situation, I catch a Pokemon that maybe I'm not equipped to take on just yet, I have a better chance at catching it. I think what he's saying is he's really hoping I sacrifice Beldum for something in the future. Beldum Hasty decreases special defense for speed? Right? Beldum evolves in five levels, and that's gonna suck. Don't you get confusion as soon as- yeah, you get confusion as soon as you evolve. I can't teach you any TMs though, can I? I'll teach you Shockwave if you can learn it. No, I don't- and I'm pretty sure it's a move you can learn. Yeah, I don't think I can teach you anything. Yeah, I think it's- it's a Magikarp effect, just at least with an attacking move. Well, that's unfortunate. And now I'm going to pause again real quick. Okay, never mind. I thought it would tell me, like, basically Fraps that starts a new file at about 15 minutes, except I haven't renamed any of these files so far, so I have no idea what matches to what. I already talked to you. Okay, we're gonna go through... We're gonna take on the rest of the trainers this route, and we're gonna go take care of the cave. Chin Chow. See, that would be someone who I would probably sack Quentin for if it was really coming... I mean, now it's at the point where... Quentin was very important, but, you know, I can do without. Um, it's at four times weakness. That's really all it is. Otherwise, Quentin, never, never downplay a Geodude. Never, ever. Geodude is probably, especially in a regular Nuzlocke, 
Do not doubt a Geodude. They can actually be some of the most useful Pokemon you're going to get that entire game. Okay, so you're going to have Levitate. So we're going to go out into trouble. Tyranitar, in this game, his sprite looks so much better from the back than the front. I don't remember what Tyranitar's Gen 2 sprite looks like. Like, I do not remember for the life of me. Um, let me remember, Shane, if you're listening to this, because I know you don't actually really edit these, but if you're listening to this, put up a picture of Gen 2, uh, Gen 2 Tyranitar right here, for the, for all of our curiosity. And if I don't, if you don't see that right there, it just proves, what I do is I just, I remember roughly like, oh, I caught this Pokemon, this Pokemon, that Pokemon. And then I edit the layout, but I don't actually really pay attention to what's in here. If I, if you ever see any editing in that kind of stuff, it's coincidence. It's better than like, uh, uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, where there's no editing whatsoever. It's just, I, I cut the, the the beginning, the end, and I look in the middle for any sort of, like, long, empty bits. But otherwise, I don't touch it. Charcoal! Yes! Okay, someone else is about to take the amulet coin. Give to Pablo. We're gonna give this to Zelfrid. Whoops. And we're going to give this real quick to the Blue Bomber. Because he doesn't really have anything else. I mean, he's only got one movement. It's the normal type. So we might as well boost it if we can. And you are a Fire Breather. But you're actually... You're a Pansy. Ember. Pablo, you might be getting a little too powerful here, buddy. We're going to leave you in against this Nuzleaf. We're going to switch it up. We're going we're gonna to take Pablo out from the front. We got Flannery coming up in a couple episodes. That'll be fun. And we go right from there. I don't even think there's a gap. I think we go right from there to your father's gym. So you might actually... I don't know if we're off the level grind for Flannery. I might not. Um, because I feel like we're going to be pretty much close enough. I mean, we're already like level 27. We got a couple fights too. Everyone will probably be at least 28, 29 by then. Cast form... No, actually, we'll level up Matang. That's what we'll do. Let's put Matang... Actually, let's try that. Let's do a takedown. What the... F what the... Wait, what the... What the... What the... What the... What the... What the... Why? Why does Cast Form have Ember? Why does Cast Form have Ember? Am I talking to myself out here? What the actual hell? <laughs> okay, trouble. If we learn anything, we're overleveled. And you're not going to have anything really... You can't touch me. You still outspeed, though. That is amazing. Oh my god, I hope I do not run into a Mewtwo. We're going to soda pop it up. We don't need soda pop. Where are my potions? Let's use, a po Let's use the potions up that we have. There. Now we clear up some more space in the bag. Oh, you're yodeling. Okay. Octillery. Trouble. Just take it out real quick. Thank you, Flinch. Azuril. Yeah, we're going to go out in the... Azuril is not going to have Fire Blast. I did not randomize moves. How's that not very... F I know you're... The crit is real. That was worth nothing. Okay, Blue Bomber. We're gonna have to... We're gonna go back to, like, the beginning routes. We're gonna... You know what? In honor of our fallen Pooh Bear... We're gonna go to the falls real quick. We got an apricot berry. We're gonna take care of... We're not gonna get to the top of the volcano. This is our first encounter. This is our first encounter. It's a Cacleon. 
I don't want it. So I'm... Maybe I should have killed it for experience, but you know. Hehehehe. <laughs> With this meteorite, Mount Chimney will. Heh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Aqua, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Aqua! We, Team Magma, won't allow you to get away with your misdeeds! <laughs> Even Team Magma joins us, but it's too much trouble to deal with you all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. <laughs> Be seeing you, Team Magma dingbats. Oh, shit. He just called you a dingbat. And you are? Fine, so you are Renoa. I am Maxi. As the head of Team Magma, I have dedicated myself to thwarting the dangerous plans of Team Aqua. Why? Because Team Aqua is a grave threat to us all. They have committed many destructive acts in their bid to enlarge the sea. We, Team Magma, love dry land above all. Team Aqua is our sworn enemy. Maxi, we should give chase to Team Aqua. Yes, yes, we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Aqua would do at Mount Chimney. Renoa, you should keep an eye out for Team Aqua too. Farewell. I just like the idea of him talking like a superhero. What do you want? Aww. I know I don't need another ground type, but I would have wanted a Fappy. I, I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. I usually study meteorites in Fellbro Town. Then some people from Team Aqua made me guide them to Meteor Falls. They promised me that they would excavate meteorites for me, but I... Team Aqua tricked me. Oh, that meteorite. It will never be mine now. But that Team Aqua. What are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? Cool story, bro. Alright, so next time. We're going to Mount Chimney and we're going to take care of these Team Aqua jerks. Because they stole Cosmo's meteorite. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button down below. If you want to see more videos from me, please be sure to subscribe. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes they'll be running longer than I want them to because I do not pay attention to the time. Go Shane. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go look for items in this cave. I'll let you know if I find anything cool. But I probably won't. It'll probably just be a bunch of stupid berries.